Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a boosted board mod that you can do on your boosted board for like third generation or second generation. And this video will be about the boosted board mod for the Mini X. So let's get started. All right, guys, so here's my boosted board Mini X. Um, as you can see, it does not look like a conventional boosted board because I have added some mods to it. And these are courtesy of Noblox, who's a very good 3D printer. Um, designer and he creates stuff for the boosted board and in fact he created uh this motor guard here and he's also created this light kit here that adds these very bright lights as you can see um but this video is concerning the gear hack for the boosted board mini x so the boosted board mini x top speed is around 20 miles per hour but with the gear hack it does go around 24 to 25 miles per hour and i will show you that in a clip later on in the video when I'm writing it but as you can see what it essentially does is it replaces your pulleys on your original wheels so you take those out and you install these ones and they're much smaller in diameter and circumference and that allows it to I believe spin at a lot faster rate and essentially gives you a higher top speed I have tested them and it does in fact work so I will be showing you guys that in a little part in the video but you can have these printed um, with a very strong 3D printed material. This is made out of Nylon X, I believe, and it's a very industrial grade material. I believe that is what Boosted Board uses for their battery casing here. So we'll be, we'll be seeing how long and how well they hold up, but they do replace your standard belt with a shorter belt as well. And you do have to pull your motors up slightly just for the belt to sit. But I will be showing you guys a video right now, actually, of me riding, and I'll show you the higher top speed. So let's go. All right, guys, so I'm outside right now, and I got my phone right here, and it has the speedometer. And I'll try to do this without killing myself, but essentially, I'm going to go full speed. And I'm going to show you guys the speed difference. So basically this mod adds five miles per hour extra approximately to every mode. So Okay, so I'm on mode three. So that should theoretically give me around 24 to 25 miles per hour. So I'm gonna go on the street right now and I am gonna try my best to record. Usually I have a GoPro mount to um, help facilitate this, but I don't have that with me right now, so bear with me. I'm gonna try my best. And uh, let's see. I will get on the road first and then I'll show you guys the speed. I'll try my best. There you go. A lot of traffic today. Oh man. Alright guys, here we go. So one thing that this does affect is the acceleration by quite a bit. Um, it does make accelerating a little... It's, it's reasonable, it's reasonable. There you go, guys. feel the acceleration has taken a toll but yeah so as you saw it did re re reach a reasonably fast speed and in my honest opinion it's a great mod um, one thing I dislike is the fact that the acceleration is botched by the smaller gears but 
if you live in an area that doesn't have that many hills and doesn't require you to stop quickly then this is a great mod I live in a area that does not have a lot of hills so the fact that I can reach 25 24 miles per hour is awesome and I love the mini X form factor um, and that is one of the reasons why I decided to do this mod so give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video I will probably do a tutorial on how to install the gears um, and that will be on my friend stealth hopefully in the future but if you guys want to stay tuned make sure to subscribe for that and have a good day peace